What's going on guys, Mike with Tiger Supplies and today we're going over prism poles and a couple factors to look into when making a purchase. Um, the first thing is going to be the height of the rods. Um, they come in about three standard heights, eight and a half feet, 12 feet, and 15 feet tall, all right? So depending on the work you do, it's really going to dictate the height. Um, also keep in mind that there are many prism poles. Um, you can see this is in the Deer Pro, it's about a foot, foot and a half tall. Uh, this is used for very specialty type of work, but keep in mind they do exist. Um, the next factor you're going to want to look into is the material that these poles are made of. The three most common ones are aluminum, fiberglass, and carbon fiber. All right, we do see a lot of the guys going with carbon fiber these days just because it's lightweight and very strong. Now the last factor, and probably the most important factor, is to look at the tips of these rods. Um, you have a fixed tip and you have an adjustable tip. Now we see a lot of the guys going with the adjustable tips because as you put a prism on top of these poles, depending on the height of that prism, it's not always going to line up perfectly with the graduations. So you're actually able to make very minute changes with these adjustable tips where you're not necessarily able to do that with the fixed tips. Some guys care, some guys don't, but look, it's very important depending on the type of work you do. So really to round everything up together, um, there's three main factors, the height of the rod, the material of the rod, and last but not least, whether it's a fixed or adjustable tip.